guys, I'm Coach Mace R&D. Well, you may be wondering why we have a wide 5 VW rotor sitting on our index head here. Well, we're going to be ventilating the rotor. And uh, this is kind of what it looks like after we're all said and done. We drill holes from the peripheral edge all the way through. And this is so that we get additional air inside the rotor to help it cool down. I'm not a great fan of putting holes on the edge or on the face of the uh, rotor because that reduces the amount of friction surface that you have for your pads to work. If you have problems with gassing on your pads and cut some slots in there and that should help that out. Anyway, we're going to show you how this is done. Uh, we've got a fairly simple setup here. We have our index head sitting on some 123 blocks here and some 246 blocks over here. We've written up a simple program it's basically just one line and what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be putting our center drill on the chuck and we're going to actually spot face or locate our holes to where they need to go this is a very important step right here because if you don't then your drill will wander all over the place so let's get started here As you can see, this is going to take a little while. We're putting in <clears throat> 40 holes around the edge. So we'll come back uh, when we get towards the end. All right, well, we got a couple more, more holes to do here. That's it for the center drilling. Now we'll go ahead and get set up. We've got actually two programs written. We got one written for the center drill, and then we've also got another one for the drilling. On the drilling side, uh, this is a jobber length drill, and this is a taper length drill. And as you can see, the taper length drill has a lot more fluid on it, and this is the drill that you want to use right here. That's why having the whole center drill is so important, so that this thing has a place to start. Well, this is our one line program that we've got for doing this thing. Um, so we're going to get started. You want to make sure that you reset your offsets when you do this because if you don't, you're going to crash into the part and break your drill and make a real mess. All right, well, here we go.
well, as you can see, this is going to take a while, so we'll be back shortly. Well, after nearly 40 minutes, we got two more holes to do. ready to go to work. If you have any uh, questions about this, uh, give us a call here at Coast to Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.